I can't, I can't really tell what the difference is. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're checking out the camera, the brand new amazing camera of the iPhone 13 Pro. And I have over 20 minutes of supplemental footage I'm gonna be sharing with you at the end of this video. We're gonna be going through it bit by bit, analyzing all the footage. But this isn't a sponsored channel, so I'm not gonna be trying to sell you this phone. I'm pretty much just gonna tell you the raw truth about it and has the camera improved? You guys wanna know, has it improved? Is it worth buying a new phone for it? And the answer is yes and no is, like I wanted it to be the most amazing camera ever and it does have a larger sensor, so it can get more light in and it can potentially boost your low light footage. We've got a lot of low light. We went down the club strip over in Surfers. I'm gonna show you the raw truth. And it can technically get you better footage and the images can appear brighter. However, the no comes in with the amount of over processing is, is uh, it looks, it can look almost cartoonish. Just check this image out. This is the iPhone 11 Pro image. And again, iPhone 13 Pro, cartoonish image. So in low light, you just, it no longer looks real. It looks like you got a cartoon filter on it. I personally didn't like that denoising effect that they run. I wish there was a way to, to disable it, but I can't seem to find that way to disable it. If you, can, if you can, if you can disable it, then you'll have an amazing camera, but out of the box, you can't disable it and it looks, ridiculous in some situations. Now that is the cons. Cons is that it can be very, very over-processed and look horrendous. The pros is it can look great. The, the images are brighter. I'm not saying that you can't brighten it up if you're an editor and you wanna just over-brighten it, but out of the box, the images are brighter. Now I have in-depth comparisons with this iPhone 13 Pro against the Note 10 Plus. This is a two-year-old Android Premier flagship phone on the Android side, and I also have compared with the 11 Pro on the iOS side. And the reason why I compared two-year-old phones is because the upgrade cycles of us mere mortals is two years. If you're upgrading every year, you're gonna be, why, why are you doing that? Maybe you have a business reason, you wanna do business expenses, but it's not really necessary. Maybe you need a battery upgrade or replacement every two years, but every two years seems to be a sensible upgrade cycle. I would potentially make it three years now based on this judgment. I think there's too many, there's too, it's too fake. It's too fake. If you can disable the over-processing, I totally do it. And regarding cinematic mode, yes, we did do some cinematic mode. Introducing the iPhone 13 Pro. In a world where Nora doesn't know which phone to pick, she decides she wants the iPhone 13 Pro or 11. Will the iPhone 13 Pro screen ever finish? Oh. I wonder, which one shall I go for? Hmm. <laughs> it's not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, a, it's got funny blurring around your... Mm. Okay, so I'm far away. It doesn't really do much effect. You re it's really good for up close. That's when you really see, oh, that looks gorgeous. But there is an edge around your face. Yeah. The cinematic test in low light. Ooh, it's gone dark. So there we have it, cinematic mode for the iPhone 13 Pro. And how good does it do? Is it able to capture? Is it able to capture? Yes. Ooh. So it doesn't work in low light. It's nice. It's a gimmick. It's a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun. If you just want to like knock something out, it is a bit of fun. It's purely a software feature. I don't see why they couldn't apply it on an older phone. I can't see why they couldn't. Maybe there's gonna be an app. Maybe I should make an app that does that effect. If I have time, maybe I'll work on that. But yeah, it is something that's probably gonna proliferate on all the phones. It's just a little gimmick. And you can see the, the filter around the hairlines, like it blurs out the hair, the nose. So it's not 100% there, but it does look nice. It is a nice gimmick to have. But regarding daylight performance, you're not gonna really notice a difference. If you have good light, good lighting, out in the light, out in the day, you're not gonna really notice any difference between the phones. And it's never gonna be as good as a proper DSLR, you know, proper camera. It's not gonna be as good as that. Nighttime it is slightly better, but on the flip side, it is also over-processed and cartoonish. So I don't really know what to say. I'll let you guys use your judgment. I was, when I was filming, 
I was probably pumped because I was looking at the phones side by side over here and I wasn't really doing that much analysis. But when I took it to the computer, I was just, nah, this is, this is cartoonish. This is horrendous. Why did they do that? Front facing camera, obviously that hasn't improved that I can see. All right guys, so I'm just walking past the Sea Kingdom. Woo! As you see, number one place over in surface. Not really all improvements there. So that's not worth it. So if you're looking for an honest camera comparison, I've just told you what's going on with this iPhone 13 Pro. Unfortunately, if you're looking to just buy, 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 this is not the channel for you. Go buy some, go watch some of those sponsored reviewers. They'll tell you who it is. Anyway, let's just jump in. I'm gonna share with you all the footage. Hope you guys enjoy it. Side by side comparison. Quality test right now. Woo, 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 woo. Do it left. Yes, we are taking this unboxing live of the live. 13 Pro iPhone, back and forward, front and back, up and down. Is it wobbly? It's so orange in the Samsung. Yes. It's awful. Yo, yo, yo. Fortune favors the boat. That is what we are saying for you right now. This property is a die for property. You must buy it right now. The prices are going hot. It is selling like hotcakes, you guys. It is available for you to cut and purchase. Just simply scan in the QR code and this dream could be yours. Let's check out the beach on ultra wide. Woo! Here I am at Surface Paradise Beach and we are walking backwards, looking at the sea behind me. How much can you see? What is the lighting like right now? I have got a big floodlight in my face. How much of me can you see? And do I look big? Do I look small? Am I good sharpness? How do I look right now? Let me know. Here, there are people just leaving the clubs right now. They're walking, they're just hanging out, they get some fresh air, and oh my god, it's amazing! We're going down to the clubbing section where they've got multiple clubs there, RB. It's retro, they play. Play classical music, which is like. Look at this one, Empire. Jesus, that's cool. So this is Cocktails Nightclub. Oh, Jesus. Which one? You've also got the chill out zone over there. So when you're getting really drunk and tipsy, go and take some water, take a minute to breathe and chill out. This is the House of Brews. Here we go, there's players right behind us, which is where the girls will go straight. That's pretty much it, isn't it? Oh, R&B. You gotta go to the bedroom. What's happening in the bedroom? There's another club called The Bedroom, where they play all night R&B tunes, and the space is like, so everyone's like teed up. It's the best. So in the bedroom, they actually have beds. There are actual beds there that you can sit and lounge and chat with your friends. We can see that basically this is like the family friendly zone. There is a Starbucks, there's a Coles, or Chili's, but there is a really important shop right there that you want to go to after you finish clubbing. And I'm not even going to say it because it'll be banned on YouTube, but just take a look for yourself. This is why you need the free X Zoom. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is a front facing camera test to see which one is more wobble see. Wobble, I wobble, don't know wobble. how much better the front facing camera is or the low light or anything like that. How are you feeling about it? I don't know. I can't. I can't really tell what the difference is. And I think one, one, one so far, thing. Yeah, this, this, this isn't a club. 
This is actually <laughs> the number one real estate agent. agent. All right guys, so there you have it. Are you gonna be getting iPhone 13 Pro for the camera? You know, maybe, maybe you don't just wanna upgrade for the camera. Maybe there's other amazing features on this phone. Like maybe you want super fast 5G. Maybe you wanna upgrade for that. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show.